Want to know the secret to keeping your math stations organized? If you're a middle school math teacher and tired of feeling like you can't possibly run stations because there's too much stuff, keep watching because I'm spilling the beans on turning you into an organization pro. If you are a color coding, highlight loving, live for alphabetizing materials kind of girl like me, organizing your math stations will be super fun. If you're not, I promise you it will also be painless too. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I help 6th, 7th, 8th grade and Algebra 1 teachers experience more aha moments in the classroom and spend less time and money with lesson planning and resources. Okay, so let's dive into how do we organize our math stations like a pro? Well, I will tell you first thing, the biggest organizational hack, I guess, with when it comes to your stations is to use a photo or craft keeper like this for your task cards. I got this from Michael's for maybe $12 because they are often on super sale. I think if you buy them on like normal price, it's probably, I don't know, $25 to $30. But if you see it for that price, I would just wait and like try to find a coupon because there's always coupons for these. So the reason why I love these so much is because you can see that there's different colors, but to me, the colors don't matter. Um, the colors just kind of make it pretty. When I open it up, I have organized them. I've used a label maker and, or and have labeled orders of operation. So I know every single one of my task cards in here are ors of operation and i have you know if i go to the next one um it is powers and exponents again use the label maker popped it right on there so i know all of them in here are for powers and exponents and, and it helps me easily see so if you have more than one of these which most likely you might um you can put you know all of your ors of operations in here you know you can like organize them within the actual box and it's clear so you can see like okay where am i where are my orders of operation you can see i have two or, or um orders of operation boxes in here and then two simplifying algebraic expressions actually oh yeah expressions and then two simplifying algebraic fractions so i can see like okay these are this is kind of where like my fraction stuff is and then i have another one for integers, like however way you want to organize it, but this makes it really, really easy. And like I said, you can easily find a coupon so that you don't have to spend full price. If you are doing, if you are using digital items for your stations, which I highly recommend that you do, go take, take an hour of your day and go into your Google folder and organize your Google folder make different folders for different subjects, just like this. Have an or, um, ORS of operation folder. Have a adding, subtracting fractions folder. And you know all of your resources for ORS of operation will just go into that folder. So you're not like constantly scrolling for that one resource. Everything is organized. And I know that organizing our digital files can take a while, but once we start, it's just gonna feel really, really good. My final tip on how to keep your, your stations um, organized is when you're actually utilizing the stations, train your students to leave the station how they saw it when they're done, right? So I have my students paperclip all of the station or all of my task cards in order before they leave. And then they leave it on the desk or leave it in the bin. Usually I have like a bin in the center of the table, put it in the bin, put the pencils away, push your chair in when you leave. However way you have set up your station, you need to train your students like, hey, if you came to the station and it looked like this, it better look like this when you leave. Do not leave the station a mess when you leave, okay? So check out our next video where I'm gonna share with you everything you need to manage your math station so students, uh, <laughs> Check out our next video where I will share everything you need to manage your math station so students are not running wild. But if you can't wait, please join us for our next free training where I will show you everything you need to make stations easy and realistic so you can get started right away. 
and be able to print a certificate for one hour of attendance. Click the link below this video to sign up and I cannot wait to see you there.